It all started with Steve, oh. who was... Oops, cur- <laughs> Steve is just a regular person. Like, they are just wearing a blue shirt and blue pants. Steve was there from the beginning. Steve is technically Steve, with a question mark after it, because uh, when asked what the skin was called, that was the first thing that came to mind. Conversation about the moustache or not? Moustache? Fine, it's a beard, but... (laughs) But I also think Steve is nostalgia, like Mm -hmm. micro-nostalgia. One fun anecdote is that uh, in the past, when we were at uh, conferences and such, we would uh, hand out gifts to people if they came dressed in a blue blue shirt, just like uh, the Steve character. So Jens, what's next for Minecraft? When Alex was added, I remember I appreciated it a lot. We felt that we need a little bit more variation and diversity. The model on which the Steve skin use uh, is quite wide, uh, like wide shoulders, and we wanted to give the players uh, a bigger range of possible appearances just by simply adding a new character model. And this new model also needed a new skin, which became the Alex, Alex skin. Alex looks quite much like Jens, and at the time, I mean, he was one of my idols. I mean, he still is, of course. <laughs> People ask me if I intentionally made Alex based on the way I look. And uh, in a sense, that's true. I took inspirations from the way I look with red hair and pale skin in order to make sure that at least I could blame, blame it on, on me if people had complaints about the way the skin looked. The Steve and Alex skins have been around for quite a while now, so we're really happy that we can extend the cast with these new default skins. We'll soon go into how we made the new skins, but right now let's talk about why we added them. So we added new skins to include everybody um, and like show and represent uh, the vast, wide variety of players that play Minecraft. The skins all look very different from each other. So when we were deciding on the color palettes of all the different skins, we really wanted to set them apart. So they all have very different color schemes and like color combinations to really Uh, make them all very iconic and hopefully symbolic in the future. I think one of our principles was that we wanted to make the skins fun and very charming looking. My favorite skin is Sunny. Uh, They have a prosthetic arm and they look great. The character creator uh, is a place in Minecraft Bedrock where you can create your own character uh, out of pre-made pieces uh, and construct them however you want. So choose from your own tops, bottoms, shoes, hairs to make whatever you want. Um, whenever you go in and make a new character in the character creator, um, you will randomly get one of the new cast, or uh, you can choose it yourself. So you can go in, choose who you want to be, and then customize them yourself. Using and creating skins is very important in Minecraft because Minecraft lets the players tell their own stories, and then it becomes very important what they look like and then what their friends look like. We have got actually quite many community questions about the names and how we pick them and that for some some players think that the, the names seem unusual. And I think that's because we really wanted to pick these like lovely names from all around the world. And they're available in Java and Bedrock right now. <laughs> <laughs>